In our previous vlog, I shared my unforgettable experience acting for a commercial. And this time, we are going back on track to share with you my unforgettable Asian backpacking adventure in not just one, but four countries in just five days. But before anything else, let me introduce myself. It's me again, the waiter, your travel and lifestyle vlogger, giving you a list of your travel itineraries which you can truly enjoy. Also, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell and follow my social media accounts and my online travel articles in Manila Bulletin Lifestyle. In 2017, we went on a backpacking adventure with my travel buddy Mark. This is to challenge ourselves on how many countries we can visit in just 5 days. So armed with a ton of research and months of preparation, we embark on our own version of an amazing race journey in Asia starting first with the land of smiles, Thailand. Next station, Labrabang Station. We took the airport train going to the city to start our 24 hours travel exploration in Bangkok. We book our hotel near Chao Phraya River as this area is highly recommended for first time travelers. Why? Because most of the tourist attractions are located beside Chao Phraya River. You can ride the water taxis or ferries just like what we did and visit lots of temples, the Grand Palace, and eat Pad Thai, which became our favorite Thai meal. Bangkok, Thailand, the Grand Palace. <laughs> Plenty of foreigners. It's uh, nine in the morning here in Bangkok. The next day, we went to Walampong train station to catch our train going to Cambodia. We left at 1:30 in the afternoon and had a six-hour train ride while enjoying the countryside of Thailand as we headed to the border of Thailand and Cambodia. train station at Bangkok. We enjoyed our day at the Bangkok and now we're heading at uh, uh, well uh, we, we we left Wan Lampo uh, train station at 1 p.m. and uh, we were expecting that we'll arrive here at Araprayat uh, train station at 6 30 but we were, were quite early. We arrived at 6 p.m. so we're 30 minutes ahead of time so I hope we have enough time to go to the border and uh, we're heading to Siam Reap uh, so we can enjoy Angkor Wat tomorrow morning. We safely crossed the border of Thailand and Cambodian immigration control and then rented a van to bring us to our hotel in Siam Reap which took us 3 hours of travel. The following morning, we started our adventure at Angkor Wat and its surrounding temples. Alright, we're now here at Angkor Wat. So there's plenty of tourists but according to our tuk-tuk driver, this is not a peak season so there's lesser uh, tourists today. Um, the peak season is during the summertime, which is also March. So I'm just amazed of the the structure of this Angkor Wat. This is just one of the temples here, and um, it really brings you back to the the past. So many more 
um, videos and pictures to come later. Bye. This is the gate of Angkor Wat uh, temple. So uh, lots of tourists are taking pictures. They're trying to uh, um, recreate the posing of this figures. It's Buddha. So every wall of this temple has this very detailed Buddha. Whatever I call it. From the outside, that's the main uh, bridge, but it's under uh, renovation. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's actually not a lake. Okay. It's a massive, uh, it's a massive um, statues. Approaching the uh, um, right wing of the temple. So you see statues here. There you go. These are the remains of this great empire, Khmer Empire, here at Cambodia. So you'll be amazed at every detail speak. From the outside We'll see this part. Angkor Wat. The ruins of Angkor Wat. So they're cleaning up a part of their um, maintenance to preserve this wonderful historical structure so we'll go to the other side later so enjoy Angkor Wat temple We are now at Bafon, so we came from um, Bayon Temple, and now we're in Bafon Temple. What's really amazing here is that there's like a bridge going to the ruined temple of Bafon, and it's also massive, and uh, it's really majestic. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye bye from Cambodia. Another great temple here at Cambodia another ruined temple made in the mid in the olden times we were also offered a tour by this Cambodian kid who helped us navigate this massive city of ruined temples he brought us to spots where nice pictures can be captured like this and a lot more
Unfortunately, our Cambodia trip, which was supposed to be two days, was shortened because our airline rebooked us earlier and so right after our day trip in Angkor Wat, we headed straight to the airport to fly to our destination which is the city of Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. We arrived at Vietnam at around 8 p.m. and so we explored the city the following morning where we visited their park, seen their many motorcycles in the street, and unfortunately, this is also the day where we got scammed as a tourist after asking direction from the coconut street vendor. We decided to buy his coconut product as a way to thank him, but instead, he tricked us by selling one coconut to us for 100,000 Vietnamese dong which we later found out in the local market cost only 20,000 dong. Our mistake for not checking the conversion as we do not have a reliable internet at that time. Well, charge to experience. We also visited in Ho Chi Minh City, the City Hall, Notre Dame Cathedral of Saigon, Bentan Market, Saigon Opera House, Warm Remnants Museum, National Museum, and the Old Central Post Office. The following day, we flew all the way to our last destination, which is Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, for a long layover of which we decided to roam KL for a day trip via bus and train. To maximize our layover in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, we purchased a hop-on, hop-off bus ticket so we can see most of the tourist attractions in just an hour where we saw Kale's very own Chinatown, Kale Tower, Little India, the Petronas Towers, to name a few. After an hour of city tour via bus, we went to KL Central train station and purchased a ticket for a 30 minutes ride to reach Batu Cave Station, where the famous and must-visit Batu Cave with 272 steps is situated. And that, my friend, is how we visited four Asian countries in just five days. Hope this vlog inspired you to experience your own backpacking adventure in Asia. In our next vlog, we are going local and see the city in southern Luzon, famous for its seven lakes. So don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe because here, you're the Wayner 